Denmark and Germany now building the world's longest immersed tunnel with total length of 18 kilometers. When the Femmernbelt Tunnel is completed, the journey between Rodbyham and Puttgarden will take 7 minutes by train and 10 minutes by car. Road users and train passengers will save about one hour each way compared to the ferry crossing. The Femmern Belt Link is an important component in the future European transport network and will make an important contribution to the green transition of the transport sector. Enabling traffic to use the shortest and fastest route will reduce CO2 emissions and free up capacity on roads and railways. Switching the transport of freight from lorries to environmental-friendly electric trains will also be more attractive. Denmark is preparing the rail connections to and from the tunnel for modern electric trains that will run up to 200 km per hour. Commuters on the section can therefore look forward to significantly shorter travel times, regardless of whether they use the tunnel. The construction of the Femmernbelt link will create several thousand jobs at the construction sites and with the subcontractors. The contractors have also committed to the establishment of at least 500 full time apprenticeships. It will be built across the Fehmarn Belt, a strait between the German island of Fehmarn and the Danish island of Lolland, and is designed as an alternative to the current ferry service from Rodby and Puttgarden, which carries millions of passengers every year. Today, if you were to take a train trip from Copenhagen to Hamburg, it would take you around four and a half hours, says Jens Ol Kasland, technical director at Femern AS, the state-owned Danish company in charge of the project. When the tunnel will be completed, the same journey will take two and a half hours. Descending up to 40 meters beneath the Baltic Sea, the The Femmernbelt Tunnel will be the world's longest immersed tunnel that will link Scandinavia to Germany. The mega project will slash its journey times between the Germany and Denmark when it opens in 2029. It will be constructed across the Fehmarn Belt, a strait between the German island of Fehmarn and the Danish island of Lolland it will be 18 kilometers, 11.1 miles, long is built in order to make the travel faster. The future 18 kilometers long mega tunnel is one of Europe's largest infrastructure projects, with a construction budget of over 7 billion euros, 8 billion US dollars. After more than a decade of planning, Construction started on the Femmernbelt Tunnel in 2020 and in the months since a temporary harbour has been completed on the Danish side. It will welcome a factory that will soon build the 89 massive concrete sections that will make up the tunnel. According to the management of Femmern AS, the state-owned Danish company in charge of the project, beginning of 2024, the company could be ready to immerse the first tunnel element. The tunnel, whose official name is Femmern Belt Fixed Link, will also be the longest combined road and rail tunnel anywhere in the world. It will comprise two double-lane motorways, separated by a service passageway, and two electrified rail tracks. According to Femmern AS, the state-owned Danish company in charge of the project. If you were to take today a train trip from Copenhagen to Hamburg, it would take you around four and a half hours. But when the tunnel will be completed, the same journey will take two and a half hours. The same trip by car will be around an hour faster than today. Besides the benefits to passenger trains and cars, the tunnel will have a positive impact on freight trucks and trains, because it creates a land route between Sweden and Central Europe that will be 160 kilometers shorter than today. The project dates back to 2008, when the two countries signed a treaty to build the mega tunnel. It then took over a decade for the necessary legislation to be passed by both countries and for geotechnical and environmental impact studies to be carried out. Now the temporary harbour on the Danish site is finished, several other phases on the project are underway, including the digging of the actual trench that will host the tunnel, as well as construction of the factory that will build the tunnel sections. Each section will be 217 metres long, roughly half the length of the world's largest container ship, 42 meters wide and 9 meters tall. Weighing in at 73,000 metric tons each, they will be as heavy as more than 13,000 elephants. Confederation of Danish Industry believes the tunnel will be beneficial to businesses beyond Denmark itself. 
Another key innovation of the construction process is the fact that it will not be built by a traditional boring machine, rather than by immersing pre-built tunnel sections. By way of comparison, the 50-kilometer channel tunnel linking England and France, completed in 1993, cost the equivalent of $13.6 billion in today's money. Although longer than the Femmernbelt Tunnel, the channel tunnel was made using a boring machine, rather than by immersing pre-built tunnel sections. Dredging works successfully started off the German coast in the fall of 2021. This full-scale trial cast of a tunnel element was built in July 2022. The roof of the first production hall where the tunnel sections will be built in Denmark was completed on June 2022. The tunnel is financed by Denmark, which will collect a toll from the crossing. Germany will pay a further 800 million euros to connect the crossing to its motorway network. Everything is on track to build the $8 billion tunnel for 2029. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel for more videos of that kind.